You're watching The Call Outdoors TV. Sometimes all I think about is getting out, spending all my time alone, trying to forget about how I'll make it out. Seems like all the boys are hanging out at home. Cause there ain't no doubt when the boys reach out. Never hesitate, for I'm getting in the zone. I'm getting back to the place where I belong. A little more of the call out doors won't crazy. come along. A grove of trees and a place to be a time turkey. A lot of luck, a strut and a club, now that's a good story. I'm sitting out here in the middle of God's country And I can't believe that he's made it all for me In the middle of all my fun I'm soaking up the sun Waiting for a chance to shoot my gun Now the story's done been told Even though it's getting old It takes me back to the place where I belong <laughs> Now the story's done been told And even though it's getting old It takes me back to the place where I belong I'm getting back to the place where I belong Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Yeah. Oh, you think you got it on him? Yep Alright Make sure I really get it on him and then pull the trigger, okay? Get your hand up here more. There you go. Just gently. Make sure you're on that turkey. Nice! You smoked him! Yes! Hey! Hey! You drilled him. <laughs> yes! Awesome! You drilled that turkey. If you do that, if you do that to a turkey, he'll be flopping all over the place and you'll have him. Okay? Great job, that's awesome. Thanks. Proud of you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Let's take this one off and put it in your room. Yes. Do it. Oh my goodness. It's the middle of the season. Yeah. We're in Pennsylvania. It's time to go turkey hunting. Mm -hmm. Who are we waiting on? Mr. Curtis. Waiting on Mr. Curtis. He's picking us up at the hotel. And hopefully he's going to drive us right up to the old Tommy turkey. What I'm kind? just wondering right now if I'm going to shoot him or if I'm going to miss him. Yeah. That's what every turkey hunter wonders. <laughs> never know until you do it. Exactly. Right? right. So there's no chance of asking the question unless you just do it. Yep. Pretty much. This has been a day that I have looked forward to for a long time. Ella, my oldest daughter, who is eight years old, absolutely loves a turkey hunt. We get her all sighted in and ready to go. We've decided that we're not gonna shoot at a turkey that's outside of 20 yards. So we gotta get them in close. Here, I'm gonna show the camera. 
camouflage is that? <laughs> it's not camouflage. I told you that. Ten minutes, we've got two gobblers just absolutely screaming at us. My heart is about ready to jump out of my chest. and had them coming and they came into uh, he came up the ridge on us about 25 30 yards and saw our decoys and didn't want didn't want to commit to them so the little 410 and open sights we didn't want to shoot so he's hammering below the ridge on us right now Like I said, again, the woods will not move mm -hmm. in case of a flood <laughs> or a tornado or a hurricane. <laughs> Sometimes a logger would move the woods. Or a melting glacier. <laughs> Ella, as you guys saw, super close. We get her out another time, but so we dropped her off, and now we're headed to. Uh, we're getting in a new property. We just got permission on this year, so we're running and gunning for the rest of the morning. So we get one goblin now. It's gonna be fast and furious. Matt Brad's call. Let's see if I can't dial one up. Stay tuned. There he is. Just heard him. He's over here. Straight that way. Positive. Dead positive. I thought I heard one, but I couldn't tell. I know exactly where he's at. We need to get to that pine. If we get to these pines right here, we'll be in good. We can go from there. Dave's like, I heard a bird gobble. And I didn't hear it because uh, I'm half deaf. So <laughs> he, he hears this bird gobble and we didn't know where it was coming from, but he had an idea. So we just stood around for a little bit and uh, the bird gobbled again and we had an idea where it was at and it was quite a ways away. 
Um, so the march happened. We started moving ground. We're we're moving. We stop. We listen. Bird gobbles again. We're moving again. shade. Uh, there's a bunch of sunny trees and shade trees so we slip back into a nice shady spot, put the decoys about 10-12 yards away and uh, Dave started his sweet yelping.
That's turkey hunting right there. That is why we play the game. Oh, just a phenomenal hunt. This bird in the in the woods, just, oh man. We give God all the glory for all the opportunities to be out here and enjoy this creation and be able to do this and oh, spend time with friends, family. We say it all the time. Oh man. That's why you hike. I mean, we hike like crazy today, up and down hills. And finally, we just caught our break and got into a new property and, and uh, the bird was gobbling on his own. We were able to slip in and get close enough into the zone, hit the call and he come unglued. Started cutting at him and he just started hammering. And man, when I did that little just soft bup, 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 and he thundered right there, I was like, you know, my, <laughs> the adrenaline is just going. I tell you what, I was looking at that bead for so long, I started getting cross-eyed. Like, I'm telling you, these beads were just starting to like wave in front. I'm like, oh my goodness. You wanted to shoot them and I had to see all this junk right here. I see. Like, that was all between me and I was like, ah. Uh, I don't know coming out of there. That'd be not the nicest. Hey, we can go back and take, not to be a, yeah, a brag or anything, but the farmer said, hey man, these guys, guys been in here having trouble. Go in there and kill one. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Just a gorgeous hunt. I was, I was thinking, you know what? We got him on TV. We're doing this for the camera. I mean, if I was hunting by myself, no way would I just wait that long with a bird there like that. But because we got the camera, we're like, okay, let's see what he does with the decoys. And he just, he wasn't gonna fight or anything like that. And then all of a sudden, I got nervous when he took a couple steps back to get up that hill I was like if he just walked straight away that's gonna be tough but he popped back into strut and <laughs> we laid it on him baby oh browning max has got to eat lunch <laughs> hey thank you congrats man let's go up there and see what this bird's got he's got a nice rope on him yeah he does how pretty was it when he was coming through there strutting oh, I had him good too gorgeous the sun on him oh man I'm like laid him out. <laughs> that is door now. That's a nice, that's a four year old bird at least. Four or five year old turkey. Twelve yards. Fifteen maybe. That's what we needed for Ella right there. She could have shot that bird. Yeah. She def that was a perfect bird for Ella. With the bird strutting like that. Yeah. Just right next to the decoy. Perfect bird for Ella. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. We'll get you. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to put him in front he of He was you. like, oh my goodness. I was thinking that too. I was like, we took her back to the hotel and because, I mean, she, she was getting tired. Tired and cold. Yeah. That was such an awesome hunt. And what a beautiful place to be out here in God's creation. Just enjoying life and enjoying it with uh, friends. And uh, we're, we're just excited to be able to do this and uh, represent uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to get out here and uh, to share life with people, uh, share the truth of God's Word and His creation. And uh, wow, we're just blessed to be here. And uh, well, hey, thanks for hunting with us on this episode. Stick around, we got some more coming.